ありがとうございました。Next, I would like to invite Mr. Sanjay Shukla, Principal Secretary, Department of Industrial Policy and Investment Promotion, Government of Madhya Pradesh, to give the presentation on investment opportunities in Madhya Pradesh. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's my pleasure to uh, speak to the Japanese companies and the government of Japan, JETRO, and uh, my officers from, from Indian Embassy in Tokyo. Uh, I am representing Madhya Pradesh, which is the central state of India. It is located right at the heart of India. Uh, firstly, to uh, highlight some of the points. Uh, MP is the second largest state and it has a population of 77 million. Uh, and because we are located at the center of the state, by being in Madhya Pradesh, any company can cover almost 50% of the population of Indian states. MP is rich in minerals, uh, endowed by the nature. It has Asia's thickest coal seam, uh, and which is very good for uh, natural gas and other things. MP is a major producer of coal, limestone, copper, rock phosphate, manganese, dolomite, glass sand, and uh, other uh, minerals. Uh, as far as other, other industries are concerned, we have a huge road network of national highways, state highways, and uh, airports. The state has more than 20,000 megawatt or 24 gigawatt of power. Uh, we have lots of power, uh, water. The water is available in abundance and land is available in abundance. If you look at the agricultural scenario, uh, Madhya Pradesh is the largest producer of a large number of things like oil seeds, pulses, uh, tomato, orange, garlic, medicinal plants, etc. Et uh, we are the second pr largest producer of food grains, sesame, guava, green peas, green chili, onion, etc and third largest producer of milk, citrus fruits, and some other spices. We have 40% share in India's total organic uh, food production, and the horticulture production has grown more than six times in the last 12 years. There are nine food parks located in the state of Madhya Pradesh. So as I mentioned earlier, if we look at the map of India, MP is right at the center. And within few hours of road drive or flight, we can access most of the mainland India and all the states covering a large population base. So any company which uh, thinks of reaching out to the customers and reaching to the maximum number of customers, Madhya Pradesh is the right place to be in. There are good number of trains passing through the state. There are more than 20 plus major rail junctions and there are seven inland container depots located in the state of Madhya Pradesh. Our focus areas are, as you saw, our strength is in agriculture. So the business is based on agriculture, agribusiness, and food processing is a focus area. Then Pithampur near uh, Indore in Madhya Pradesh is a huge automobile and engineering base where Bridgestone of Japan is located and uh, they have very good experience in being here. Our third uh, biggest sector is pharma. I'm happy to share with you that now Madhya Pradesh is one of the largest pharma and uh, pharma and gradient producer states in the country. Then also because of our location, we are a large warehousing and logistics center in India. Uh, because of huge land mass and good sunlight and wind, we are a center for renewable energy. Then. Textile and garmenting, we have a focus state. We are the largest producer of cotton, uh, one of the largest producer of cotton in the country. Then chemicals and plastics, there are two integrated plastic parks, which are specifically located for uh, plastic and other uh, items related to plastic. Then as far as uh, information technology is concerned, we have good uh, SEJ and uh, IT companies located in Indore and Bhopal. And lastly, the mineral-based industries, because we are a mineral-rich state. If you look at the companies and the presence, we can see a good number of 
all the international and Indian multinationals, including some from Japan, they are located here. And uh, they are in automobile and engineering sector. They are in agro business and food processing. They are in pharma and chemicals, textile and others. Now, if you look at the industrial landscape, this is the map we see again. Uh, we have five regions for uh, managing the industrial estates and industrial parks. And some of the parks where a lot of business activities coming up and is growing very fast is a smart industrial park in Pithampur near Dhar, which has world-class infrastructure for industrial uh, units. And then Vikram Udyogpuri Ujjain, which is again one hour from the Indore airport and it is part of Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor and is ready for pharma and other sectors, industries. Similarly, in Gwalior, we have a Sitapur industrial area, which is almost 155 hectare, and it is very close to Gwalior city, and it is coming up very fast. Another uh, park in Mohasa Babai, it, it is located south of Bhopal, and it is a huge pharma park is proposed here besides other activity. And uh, the plastic park Tamot is also ready and units have started uh, coming up at Tamot. There are uh, policy related to investment promotion where uh, uh, we provide investment assistance to the companies. The details are given slide. We have also shared with the, uh, our embassy in Japan. There is an incentive on employment generation, which is uh, quite attractive. Then for export-oriented units, we have further uh, support system. There is a power tariff rebate and infrastructure development assistance and green industrialization for waste management system. Similarly, for textile and pharma and food processing, there are specific uh, supports like interest subsidy for textile industry, slack period for gross supply value multiple, which is uh, to support the companies uh, to claim their uh, support, uh, subsidy claim support. And then investment promotion assistance for food processing. Recently, uh, we have also done away with Mandi fee reimbursement for five years. Then for the large scale apparel or garment units, we have a, a very, very attractive system of incentive to the tune of 200 of investment in plant and machinery interest subsidy of 5% for seven years on term loan and employment generation assistance for up to 5,000 per employee per month for maximum five years and so on. So all these policies, I'm not going to read every line, but as we can see, they are very, very attractive. They are very bold and encouraging, and it is there to uh, attract companies to come to MP. For logistics and warehousing industry also, there is investment assistance per tune of 15%, maximum of rupees 150 million on gross fixed capital investment. Then there is a infrastructure development assistance and uh, reimbursement of stamp duty and registration fee. So all these items, they all convert to a good support in terms of the companies coming up here. Uh, recently, we have also done some labor reforms, which make it very easy for the companies to have more shifts, to have more flexibility, and to have lesser and lesser disputes. I must mention here that Madhya Pradesh is among the most peaceful states in the country and maybe across the world, where there are very less number of labor disputes. This can be verified independently from any experts or any sector experts report and research work. There are no labor disputes here. Uh, the law and order is very good. People are very friendly. And uh, that is why we are getting more and more FDIs in the last few years. We also have something called a Public Service Guarantee Act, where the government and its departments, they are committed to provide the services and support in a time-bound manner. And there is a single window system, which is placed at the Industrial Development Corporation which acts as a nodal uh, department or nodal agency. And we support, facilitate all the uh, companies, investors and prospective investors to come and invest and all their work gets done in time. There are 25 services for which instant approval is there, which means that you apply on the portal online and you get the uh, kind of approval or automatic approval in, uh, instantly. 
there are 10 services for which approval takes a minimum time of only seven days. And there are some services we require, which require some necessary work to be done as per law. There only it takes about two weeks to be done. So uh, to conclude, I'm again going back to the first slide that where MP is located right at the heart of Madhya Pradesh, the center, and the companies which come to MP will have the benefit of the location. It can act as the warehouse for the whole country. And as we all know, India is a big market, a big consumer base. So uh, with these words, I would like to close my uh, presentation that all companies are welcome in MP and you can have your experience sharing with Bridgestone, which is very happily working in Madhya Pradesh. Thank you. Maria Pradesh Shusefu, Sangyo Seisak Toshi Sokshin Kyuk, Joseki Jikan, Sanjay Shukra Shinyur, Presentation of Samari of Taita Shimas. Maria Pradesh Shu, Indo Tuyo Nichi, Tokuni Koyo, Sakana Shu des. Indo Yuichi no Diamond Sanshu Shu de Ali, Sorohoka Nimo Sektan Yakakoga, Do, Magdeshium, Doramaita to Ita Kobus Shigen of Sanshu Shimas. No Yoma Sakon Sagande, Yushi a Tomato, Koma Yaguaba, Auto Garashi, Tamanaki Sesan de Kokuna Nini Ranku in Surinado, Indo no Shukro Basketto, to Yobarete Mas. その力からインドの総人口のうち50% が在住する消費市場への また修正府の進歩的な投資促進支援策も外国国内企業が同州進出を決める要因となっています。雇用創出症例策や電気料金の払い戻し、インフラ開発支援など、全産業部門を対象とした支援策を導入しています。本州では特に農業関連ビジネ